between the traffic headaches and all of the closings, it's been years since snow really hit our region mm -hmm. this hard. And trust me, I don't want to look back at the blizzard of 2016, <laughs> but if Monday was anything close to what we went through then, why wasn't it considered a blizzard? We had so much snow. Yeah, we really did. And we're going to bring in an expert on this one to verify. Hey there, Kaylin. I think she has the answer to this. I was thinking in some parts it had to be considered a blizzard, but clearly not. Yeah, a lot of folks thought that it was just so much snow in such a short period of time, but those really don't have anything to do with what actually makes a blizzard. So let's take a look at the blizzard criteria. You need sustained wind or frequent gusts of 35 miles per hour or more. And and this is where it can get a little tricky. You need both of these falling and or blowing snow that reduces visibility to less than a quarter mile for three hours or more. So you need limited visibility and some really serious wind. It's pretty hard to meet both of these criteria. And a fun fact, you don't even need it to be snowing. You just need the blowing snow that reduces visibility. So say you have a big snowstorm, especially if it's a light fluffy snow, and then the next day or a few hours later, you have some really big wind gusts. It could still technically be a blizzard even after the snow has stopped falling.